Excuse me. Yes, I finally got it. I finally got it. And it was God's best savages and fun. And you... Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to seek both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Follow me! I asked Nastas to bring the horses around front. G quick, man, quick! My heart's beating like a drum! Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down! I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. This is it! <laughs> Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals, coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Fairclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I have to say, the <laughs> touch of the old jitters. No kid. That's no small relief to have it. The bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! You angered her. Whoa. Now we have no choice. Come on, yeah. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say that perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... This is it. Slow down! Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I have to... But, but I... But violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Do as he says, Marston. You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! 
Holy shit! Damn, oh, Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Let's go now while we got the chance. Yes, let's get out of this hellhole and back to civilization. <laughs> let's go! We got ambushed by Dutch's gang. It's a little soon to be drawing conclusions on an entire people. This is very disheartening. I Let's go. I can't see any more of them. Come on, Professor. Let's get you back to Blackwater. I'd appreciate it if you would, Mr. Marston. I'm a shadow of my former self. Come on. Well, I can safely say that that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind, restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Go! Come on, easy up now. Good to see you again. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. 